the regular season finale in the Sierra Foothill League and it's senior night at Oak Ridge High School in El Dorado Hills. But sophomore Reeve Sloan and the Rockland Thunder are looking to spoil the Trojans party. Nick Pecorero here as the Ozone is rocking per usual on Friday. Here we go, Thunder's opening possession. Sloan hits Jonathan Correa to get inside the Oak Ridge 10, but the Trojans defense holds strong and they come up with a goal line stand to keep Rockland off the board. For now that is, because on the very next play, on the ensuing Oak Ridge drive, they're backed up at their own one, so you can't have a bad snap because guys like Alex Durham will pounce all over it for a touchdown and a 7-0 Rockland lead. Back to Reeve Sloan. The sophomore QB had five total touchdowns last week in a triple OT win against Granite Bay. He picks up right where he left off with an 86-yard touchdown run, and Rockland is rolling up 14-0 early. Oak Ridge would bounce back though as Joaquin Graves Mercado finds Jaden Anderson for a beautiful pass down the sideline. That sets up a short score from Eric Orme Jr., his team leading 15th rushing TD of the season, and the Trojans are on the board, 14-7. And then the Oak Ridge defense turns up the heat. Gavin Malloy gets into the Rockland kitchen for a sack lunch. And then on the next play, Marcus Hoffman. He's not to be outdone. That's his SFL leading 12th sack of the season. And that gives the Trojans the ball back. Three minutes to go in the first half. Graves Mercado rolling right, looking for a man. And he throws a dart into a tight window. Jaden Anderson on the receiving end. Nice catch. And this game is all knotted up at 14 as we hit the halftime horn. Skip ahead to the fourth quarter now. Alex Hensley missed a 49-yard field goal earlier in the third, but this time, despite a tough snap, he boots in a season-long 38-yarder to give the Trojans a 17-14 lead. But Rockland is looking to close its regular season strong. Rafi Marino picks up a big first down in the closing minutes, and that sets up a seven-yard score from Nate Martin on the reverse handoff. And after giving up 17 unanswered points, Rockland storms back in front 21-17. As Jacob Winter stays a perfect 47 for 47 on PATs this season. Oak Ridge has a chance to win on its final drive, but Gavin Correa comes through with the clutch INT, and Rockland wins an instant classic 21-17. I'm Nick Pecorero, and you're tuned in to Premier Preps.